Keep counting. One of our three deceivers was once propositioned by a lady of the night. You can tell us who you think oh, it me. was by voting along in the chat. Let's well, find out who's one. telling the truth and I who said it was is a chump. They can hear you, goddammit. <laughs> oh, he knows they can hear. He's proud of himself. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh. What was that? Book? <laughs> we reading oh, books now? Oh my god. Welcome, welcome to Chump, everybody. The Rooster Teeth Game Show, all about lying and deception. Oh. I'm your host, Jeremy Dooley. And remember, you can protect yourself online today by getting ExpressVPN. Check out more at expressvpn.com slash RTTB. Now, today's episode is going to be... Uh, gonna be an interesting one uh there's gonna be a lot of lies gonna be gonna be a lot of deception and we'll see <laughs> we're gonna see what happens with it let's introduce today's deceivers starting with deceiver number one michael jones ah oh, number one yeah. yeah hashtag i win hashtag he wins <laughs> we got deceiver number two jordan swears why am hey. i number two i don't, I don't even know why you're building two here we're in the no, middle. Number in the, it's number two, regardless of direction that we go. And uh, deceiver number three, Eric Fedor. Welcome hashtag back, I win. Eric. Hashtag I win. You win. But oh, when you, you, say, when you, say, I, when you guys use odds. hashtag I win, just know that's for me, because I win. <laughs> Only two idiot. people can sort out whether or not they're telling you the line. Uh, <laughs> the first being today's contestant, <laughs> Sauce Monkey himself, Nick Schwartz, is here. Yay! 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 <laughs> We can see the reflection. We can see the reflection in the white oh. <laughs> oh no! And the second being you, the audience playing along at home. And yes, this is the Face Jam episode of Chump. The entire crew oh, of Face Jam here. Yeah. Well, oh, you know, now. It, it was a, it was kind of a happenstance. We were sending invites out. And we were mm -hmm. like, well, that worked out. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Especially because I have been dying week to get off. Nick sure. on. Yeah. You know, well, we were, not, we were you dying to this, get Nick. You don't have this week off. You're working right now. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make sure you build I this accordingly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I'll well, make sure me. I send the build a face jam. Pay me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> pay me. I would. <laughs> this, are all of our look at all of our our twitters are, are almost our names, and then well, no shit. Yeah, Michael. I mean, you're then just, Nick. Michael Jones was taken. Then there's Nick. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Schwartz. And yeah. Oh shoot! I should have. Yeah. I should have. I should have made mine Michael Jones. What a good idea. <laughs> no one else thought of that. I should have made mine Michael miss, Jones. Dude. You I missed out. Oh, Damn. Should have made mine Michael. It could have been Honey Nut Cheer 20. We came up with that was a good. <laughs> Wait, that we was the that. best. That was we really good. Cool. If Cheer, that's good. You should tweet from that. If you remember it. the password. Oh man. Woo. Oh, I still got it. I got it. If Cheerios McDonald's drops their Twitter, best. we're gonna be on it like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> dude, we're we're ready to scoop that up. Uh, I already anyways, nuts in every bowl. <laughs> 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 Two scoops of honey. That's their slogan, right? Oh, um, that's what you know, the bee, the bee nuts into the bowl. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's oh, what I was talking about. Who, who do you think I was talking about? Do? He nuts in every bowl. That's on the box. Buzz it's, buzz. Let's play our first game. It's called. Hey, Just I'm the Lawson. Facts. We're playing by the rules. <laughs> if you guys don't play by the rules, I'm coming through the computer. I'm coming. There's gonna be a stroke enough. penalty for every rule you don't follow. I knew this was gonna be a thing. I hit the whiskey what? hard as soon as I got I... here. And it's gonna, okay. it's gonna... You were <laughs> hitting whiskey before I got here, okay? Well, exactly, because I knew it was coming. Well, it's because you, know, you were I got late. my weather forecast. I drew it in Sharpie. I was like, it's mm -hmm. on its way right here. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, one, this, I'm going to give you a true fact about one of our three deceivers, but they're all going to be pretending that this fact is about them. Nick is mm -hmm. going to get to question each of them up to my discretion. I'll tell him when to move on to the next person. And at the end of the game, he just needs to let me know who this fact mm -hmm. is really about. And the fact is the one we brought up at the beginning of the show. It is one of our three deceivers was once propositioned by a lady of the night. Uh, I already audience, said it was You're me. voting along well, as that well. That was Eric. So hashtag Michael, <laughs> hashtag Jordan, hashtag Eric in the chat. Remember... You get one vote. Don't spam the same name, but you can change your vote at any point uh, if someone manages to convince you. So why do, Nick, why do we have other vote, why story. do we have other names for votes? It's me. I can I, I vote in the chat? Nick, can I vote for Eric? Yeah, <laughs> you could. Yes, you, you get a vote. Everyone gets a vote. Oh, okay, um, cool. I'm not logged in. I'm not yeah, logged yeah. in. <laughs> and every vote will be counted. <laughs> Nick, um, who do you want to start yeah. with here? Stop the count. Let's start with Eric. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, right with Eric. All right, there he is, opening his chin, mouth. It's a lot of, a lot of words. <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> yeah, you know how monkeys talk. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, what a why, why oh, did we fuck. do this? This is great. All this right, is the best. I'm uh, sorry. Shit. Nick, there's no time limit here. I'll just tell you when to move on. Uh, whenever uh, you want to start your question and go for it. Okay, Eric, where yeah. did this happen? This happened in Seattle at PAX. Uh, used to go to a oh. lot of conventions, yeah, with Mega 64. So, never heard I of them. I see who and mega 64.com uh, shop mega 64.com. <laughs> I said I wanted to say yes, but um we had been drinking and mostly we were out for Seattle dogs. You ever had Seattle dogs? Yeah, they're good. See, they put yeah, they put cream cheese on the inside <laughs> of the hot dog bun and then they put the hot dog and then there's grilled onions and grilled jalapenos on top of that. And so we were um I mean mostly I was drunk Whoa. which is fine and then i was getting the seattle dog uh i kept it screaming seattle eric. dogs lieutenant dan seattle dogs because i think i had just watched forrest gump again so oh, is that no what one there was named lieutenant dan yeah did you end up cool. uh taking her with you for hot dogs no no she was just on the corner there's a game works like diagonal across the street from the convention center and she was outside the game works <laughs> She was outside the game works during PAX weekend, and it's like, well, I mean, it's not going to be me, but it's surely going to be someone, right? So, uh, it wasn't me, but, uh, I, I assume someone picked her up. It was definitely like, uh, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, it's good, how's it going? Because I was hammered. And then it was like, oh, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, we're getting Seattle, just oblivious. I'm getting Seattle dogs. <laughs> She's like, do you want to go back? You know, it was kind of like that conversation of like her going round and round to be like, and do you want to go back to your room? And I'm like, after I eat, but uh, we, I did not bring her with me. I was, uh, I just got a Seattle dog. I'd like to step in here. Uh, yeah, this go is ahead. My go go question. Go ahead. I'd like to step in you can now. Yeah. When when you <laughs> said when you said, <laughs> I'm getting Seattle yeah. dogs. Did she look at yeah. look around? And she said, me too. No, that would have been cool. Is she? <laughs> Let's and then see I could have, I could have said, "Woof, woof, I'm the dog." And then, but yeah. then it didn't. I'm a bad dog, but then it didn't. Yeah. Right, Eric, Eric, but then she really doesn't have cream cheese in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nick, the questioning is over. Shoes. Come on. <laughs> uh, question yeah. for Eric is done. Uh, who would you like to move Thank on God. to next? <laughs> yeah, oh my God, on the short. <laughs> All right, on the short. <laughs> you okay in there, you little monkey? Uh, George, <laughs> thanks. Uh, I'm sorry, you were translating, Jeremy. Calm down. Uh, go ahead. You can start your questioning whenever you want. All right. Question oh, me, monkey God, man. Jordan. Jordan, where did this happen? It happened uh, in a hotel in London uh, oh. for during oh. RTX London. The year oh. that you went. Oh. This was the year that Nick oh. went? Did I see this happen? No, were you a part of this deal, after... Nick? <laughs> no, I just... Not. <laughs> I'm trying to give him a sense hey. of time. Oh. oh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, next up, <laughs> what did she say to you? So this is where it gets weird. When the phrasing mm. lady of the night is not like a uh, worker lady, it's more of a um, vampiric vampire kind of oh deal. Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. You got solicited by a vampire? <laughs> I've heard this story and, before. Yeah. <laughs> propositioned in a way that is that is not uh you want to go bang but more like you want to go fang what oh, oh, oh i my wish mine was a vampire maybe she was <gasps> See, <I'm laughs> <dogs>. Damn. <laughs> that's close enough uh <laughs> i can't tell if nick's laughing i can just hear it <laughs> Yeah. Uh, did she? Did she? She approached you inside the lobby. So, do you think she was staying there and was going to take you to her room, or did she want to go back to your room? So, yeah, I'm not sure what the situation was. So, it was. It what do you think you would have done? Do you at. think it would have been was... fun? Do you think you would have liked it? Cross <laughs> <laughs> examine. I mean, I would, one, I'd be immortal, so maybe. Eric, but treat the I witnesses knew... hostile. I also knew that there was no way that she was a real vampire because I've seen the movies. This is out of line. I don't know about this. There's Objection. no way 
you're telling me that there's no way that she was a vampire. That's uh, that's yeah. absurd. That's I unless you got her unless you got bit and didn't turn. How would you know? Right. That's true. Or I if she said, "Can I come in?" It, yeah. Oh, no, that's right. Oh. Those vampire oh. rules. He's she was smart. in. She was in the hotel, so she must have like yeah. public just public in place. It's not. Invited. It's not a private. It's not a private right. dwelling like a home. The lobbies are, right. They're on the cusp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not it's vampire law. Oh. That's crazy. Wow. All right. Okay. This mm. smells like shit. Mm. <laughs> anyway, uh, Nick, I'm gonna move you on. Well, this episode. I don't know the how story. many of the questions you asked specifically, but I'm gonna move you on to Michael now. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, I think Eric. Has Jen, I'll have you too. I'm a grand vampire, so be careful. That's right. Oh no! Oh. Whoa! So mask you're, you're taking out a vampire? Powers. Wow. Yes. Uh, anyways, <laughs> Nick, uh, whenever you're ready, go for it. Good luck. Michael. Mm -hmm. Michael. Yeah. What did she say to you? Uh, she was like, hey, pretty boy, you down to clown? <laughs> well, she dressed so, clown? Some, oh, some, this something to so, that effect. So fake. No, oh. no, she wasn't, but she had a little bicycle horn, which I thought was weird. And she kept going, what? Like, this is, Sorry, hang that, on. Oh. I made that part up. I, uh, uh -oh. She was something very I like, I am Clearly, I'm a prostitute. You want to do this thing? Was essentially. Uh, <laughs> oh, it, did she give you? There like wasn't a, a lot of the come hither thing. There wasn't what? a lot of sub. Hang on. No, it was a what? She gave you a what? <laughs> a come hither motion. Come here. You know. It was. It was kind of like that, but it was more like want to fuck for money. <laughs> oh, you know that one. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, she's trying to get paid and get laid. And where did this happen? Next question. <laughs> uh, that was uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Atlantic Joyce. City. Yeah, it's like real. On Google the street it up. Google or it. somewhere Google else. It. Yeah. Uh, it was. Okay. Uh, it was on the street. It was. Um, <clears throat> I was there to partake in the casinos, and uh, did not stay at said casino because it's expensive. So I was walking from the casino to the uh, motel area and uh it's it's quite a trek once you get a block or two away from the casino she gets hardcore and what did you say to her uh i was like oh, i have no money left maybe next time <laughs> <laughs> how did she take it uh, she she was already on the next dude. She was just like, "You say no money, and she's done." The there was a gentleman standing next to her that was like, mm, "Get out of here! Yeah, I'll take it. Get out of here! Yeah, <laughs> paying customers only." I'll take it. All right, Nick, I want to cut you off there. There's all of our questioning. She might have been a vampire too. Uh, oh, so. Ooh. So there's all of your questioning. Uh, audience, you can change your votes now if you need to. Um, Nick, before we get your final answer on who this story is really about, is there anyone you're totally not believing, or is there anything uh, that's starting to convince you? What are you thinking going into it? Well, anytime Eric gets that excited, I know something's up. So it's probably not him. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a second. Too much details about the Seattle dogs. This monkey yeah, yeah, said that dog. He, he spoke, but it, that's, I don't know. That's the part I believe is the Seattle dog. Oh. Yeah, but that he focused was... too much on it. Mm. Well, I mean, have you ever had one? Dude, they're so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he was trying to so steer you away from his impotence, is, and he was getting a little... Who told you? I'm going to look up Seattle Dog while you talk. <laughs> she talked, dude. She told me about your <laughs> yeah, Seattle <but> Dog. <laughs> <laughs> work, it, work it around. <laughs> Seattle Dog. <laughs> Jeremy's Googling Seattle Dog. <laughs> I bet, he, yeah. good, I bet he found some pictures, really dogs, some pictures of hot dogs, some pictures of actual dogs that live in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a breed of dog for a hot second. No, it's a hot dog. Like, like and he was going to eat the one from Frazier. Oh, no, you're not believing Eric. How are you feeling oh, about no. how are you feeling about Michael and Jordan? Michael seems kind of believable, but the, so far the most believable story is Jordan, just because well, I was there. Ooh. Oh, interesting. So, All Nick, right. let me ask you another question. Was she a vampire? <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew it! <laughs> hmm. All right, audience, we're going to lock in your answer him. right now. So, uh, yeah, right Nick. After. So, Nick, um, now is the time to ask you, 
Who of these three is this story really about? Who do you want to lock in as your answer? I'm locking in Jordan, Jeremy. You're sure about that? Not that you asked that, but yes, I'm going to go with it anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. admitting right. Regis well, let's lock in. I got to do yeah. a Regis move, Rest man. I got to get really Regis, Regis on like this. Yeah. Um, egregious. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> Uh, before we reveal, uh, the show audience, <laughs> audience, let's see what you voted. Let's see what you thought. They wow, also went for Jordan. Forty nine vampire percent. shit. No one Damn, believed dude. Michael. Fifty <laughs> percent. Why oh didn't anyone God. believe? You don't think Michael's they story. want this body? Uh, I mean, the current one, or when you got proposition, they're different. Yeah, dude. Uh, I was, I was even bigger. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to. I'm going to have to delve deeper into this vampire situation because mm -hmm. uh, I can reveal that the person who was once propositioned by a lady of the night was indeed Michael Jones. Wow. <laughs> Michael. <Aww. laughs> Whoops. I went like Hashtag this. I didn't scare her off. I said, back, demon. <laughs> <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. Yeah. No, it was really wow. just the lack of money. This. Turned her away. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. Michael was the one telling the truth there. Um, but yeah, Jordan, this vampire thing, did that really happen? Were you propositioned nah, no by way. a vampire? Thank God. <laughs> no. What? I didn't okay. know. Dude, Not you tricked Jeremy. You he believed well, it. Nick was like, I was, I saw <laughs> this. I listened to a monkey <laughs> tell me that he was there. That was, <laughs> yeah, I that was, was the biggest the backdrop to get his, that was the biggest twist. Down. I saw uh -huh. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she turned into a bat. <laughs> Yeah, All, right. All right. Well, two points for the deceivers there oh, for pulling both the contestant and the audience. Well win. done. We win. This episode of Chump is brought to you by Bespoke Post. This fall, as you get back into the swing of things, Bespoke Post has brand new seasonal box of awesome collections for guys, guaranteed to upgrade your life. Whether it's gear to upgrade your autumn craft beers, yum, 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 or cozy threads for when the temperature dips, Bespoke Post only sends guys the best stuff every month. No matter what you're into, Box of Awesome has you covered. From style and grooming goods to barware, cooking tools, and outdoor gear, Box of Awesome has collections for every part of your life. To get started, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right Box of Awesome for you. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. It's free to sign up, and you can skip a month or cancel at any time. Each box costs only forty-five bucks, but has over seventy dollars worth of gear inside. Uh, I've said it once. I've said it again. I got an amazing Damascus steel blade from them. I use it all the time whenever I go out hiking or camping. I have it with me because it is a really high-quality item. And it is very useful, so you can be sure if you pick up a box of awesome from them, it will be it will be filled with uh, high quality items. That's what they're filled with. That's uh that's why there's seventy dollars worth of gear inside because they're all high quality. Get twenty percent off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code Chump at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com code Chump for twenty percent off your first box. Thank you very much, Bespoke Post. Um, but there are a lot of points up for grabs in our next game, which is called Pushing the Envelope. In this game, I have three wow. true facts, one about each of our deceivers. I'm going to shuffle them up and redistribute them. So I'll read one fact each to the deceivers. Uh, might be their own. It might be someone else's. Nick is going to question each person for 60 seconds about the fact that was given to them. Uh, if it's theirs, they're telling the truth. If it's someone else's, they're lying, making Nick think that it's about them. And at the end of the game, he just needs to tell me who's telling the truth and who is lying. Audience, I'll tell you how you work in a little bit because it's a bit different. You're going to need it, Nick. Trust me. All right. Don't hate let's with that go down the board. line here. All right. I'm right there with him. Starting with Michael. The true <laughs> fact about Michael Jones is Michael got run over by a car the day before his 21st birthday. Run over by, by a car the day before his 21st birthday. On to Jordan. The true fact about Jordan is that... Oh, I need my hands for this one. Jordan was <laughs> involved in a stabbing at a mall. 
Jordan was involved at a stabbing at a mall. He did it. And Eric, Allegedly. the true fact about Eric Guilty. is Eric Medore <laughs> mm-hmm. used to RP role play, used to mm-hmm. role play the Legend of Zelda in oh, wow. AOL chat rooms. Why did you laugh when you read that fact <laughs> about me? <laughs> used to role play the Legend yeah. of Zelda in mm-hmm. AOL chat rooms. You just you haven't um, explained why you laughed when you read that fact about me. It's just it's it's, such a, it's a nervous. It's such a, he was jealous. He was jealous. Oh, it, it wait, just it's makes the so nostalgia. Much sense. You know, mm-hmm. I've been there, right? You know, AOL chat exactly. rooms. Uh, we all used so, to. Uh, <laughs> as for the audience. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> audience. You're Why are you on. laughing? You really got run over by a car. Uh, Why are you laughing? The purple, not funny. Because the purple not blends funny. into the background, so it just looked like it said, "Who got run over by a car?" <laughs> I mean, that is the question. Who did? got run over by a car? Mike who? was claiming that he is the one who got run over by a car. But after hearing the stories, audience, you can vote using the hashtags in the chat, and if you can correctly identify who got run over by this car the day before the twenty first birthday, you get two points. So uh, listen to the stories and see if you can suss out if Michael's telling the truth or lying. And if you think, if he is lying, is it Jordan? Is it Eric? See if you can figure it out. Nick, you get 60 seconds to question each person. Who do you want to start with? Let's start with Michael this time. Start with Michael. All right, audience, Good pay choice. attention to this one. It's what you're the voting on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> run over by a car the day before his 21st the birthday. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, get set, go. Okay, Nick, so where was you got I? Hit. <laughs> oh no, where were you? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm confused. No, you ask. Go ahead. I'm confused. Did you go over the car or get knocked down by it? No. So I got my foot run over. Oh. Less dramatic kind of than you'd hoped, but that's how this, that's what this show does. They take a little nugget of truth and then they mm. blow it up like TMZ. Uh, I don't it. know what kind of car it was. Some sort of uh, sedan. So I was, I was hanging out with my friends in the Quick Check parking lot, which is where all the cool kids hung out. And uh, I, was, I was goofing. We were goofing around and uh, the car started driving away and I jumped in front of it. And then I went to the side and it rolled over my foot. But couldn't couldn't break me, couldn't stop me. Unbreakable. So how about the car hurt? Car got fucked up. Your briefs uh, it, it hurt. It hurt a little bit, but it was like an owl. I didn't break any bones. Hmm. Oh, this got intense. You didn't break any bones. Yeah, yeah this is I super like intense that. now. I like yeah. staring you down. I got, I got a strong foot. So I'm scared for. Wait, did you still celebrate your birthday? Yeah. Well, I, it was fine, so it didn't. I oh. got. I got fucked up the next day at Friday's. What up? Oh! Oh! Not in the bathroom. Oh, oh, the regular damn. restaurant. Missing out. All right. <laughs> there we go. Run over the foot. Um, there's the questioning. Audience, if you believe them, make sure to be voting for Michael. And if you don't, who did this happen to? Jordan or Eric, get your votes in. Uh, Nick, who do you want to go to next? Let's go to Eric, because this, this is a weird one. Uh, okay, Why does everyone so, keep uh, laughing? Eric. Ridiculous. Because you're a funny guy. You're funny, dude. Very funny. Legend of Zelda. All right. So yeah. he used to role play the Legend of Zelda in AOL chat rooms. Uh, 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, get set, go. How do you role play the Legend of Zelda in a chat room, Eric? You go to AOL keyword games, and there are an assortment <laughs> of chat rooms that you can go in. You could find chat rooms specifically for, I wanted to know more information about Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time because I'm old. So when it came out, I had AOL. And so I searched for it and then it leads you to a chat room where other people are role playing, not the game Legend of Zelda, but as characters going on dates and hanging out around Hyrule. People made up their own original, you know, like Sonic original creation characters where it's like, I'm Shadow's half brother. It's like that kind of stuff. Uh, Who would you play as? Who was your favorite? I would just, I would. So it wasn't Link. It was Link's younger brother, Raymond. Oh. <laughs> this is classic awesome. hero. This is like saying it out loud is so fucking Link embarrassing. Raymond. Yeah. Oh, no. so tell other people I was about like this? nine, no imagination, but it was just going around Hyrule and like getting in a fight with Octorox and then going on a date with like Princess Zelda. This is fucking lame. Damn, she'd be like, like oh, oh shit, you. it's Raymond. It was very detailed, Nick. I'm going to allow you one more question to Eric if you would like it, but you are welcome to say no. I I would like one more question. Did you tell people about this? Not until now. 
Okay. Like, who would I tell? Who would I tell? You know, you know what I've me. told people about that's similar me. to this is that I did wrestling like role play forums that are just like this. I told oh people about God. that. This is how people learn about this. This Who'd fucked you up. Role play as? Uh, I, had, I made my own character. His name was Genocide, uh, but it was misspelled. <laughs> like Jen. <laughs> like Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, no, I yep. spelled like G-E-N-E. I can believe it. And it was like, I didn't know, Whoa. I didn't know how to spell that word. <laughs> Not <Yeah>. Jenny side. <laughs> yeah, it was like, no, I wasn't that clever. I'm just dumb. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, <laughs> on to uh, the final, which is Jordan. Uh, Jordan was involved in a stabbing at a mall. All right, so uh, Nick, you're getting 60 seconds to question Jordan. Ready, get set, go. So right. you're at the mall and something happens. Are you like a party to whoever is being stabbed or stabbed at, or are you the person who was stabbed at? I was neither stabbed nor did I know the stabber. Oh, you just saw it then? I did not even see it, no. Well then what the hell? What <laughs> so, how do you say it? I mean you gotta you gotta you gotta ask the right questions. Um okay. here, here's what happened. You know you know the like outside part with like the shipping areas of malls, like like next to the food court where they receive stuff. Um mm -hmm. me and my friends were hanging out there and like messing around skateboarding and stuff, and then somebody comes running out of the mall. And he runs past us, and then he's chased by some security guards. And the security guard doesn't know if we're the ones who just like appeared, like out, ran out, or if we're with the guy. So we get detained. And I'm out of time. He did it. <laughs> Jordan did it. Okay. Well, well that's All way right. different than I was expecting. <laughs> okay. There is all of your questioning. Audience, remember, you're voting on who was run over the day before the 21st birthday. Michael was claiming it is him. Uh, do you believe him, or do you think it was Jordan? Do you think it was Eric? Eric's wearing his, his, his roleplay mask. Really is a genocide right there. Um, <laughs> make sure to get your genocide, and I'm no, it's coming Raymond. to get you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nick, before we get you to lock in any answers, uh, what are you thinking going into this? Is there anyone you uh, entirely don't believe? Anyone who's managing to sway you? What are you thinking? Oh, they're all... I mean, again, it just seems to me that Eric's is over the top, but that's that's Eric, so... What do you mean? What's that I, I supposed towards to mean? That being, yeah, <laughs> he's not over the top He's over the top right now. Uh, yeah, he's definitely not over the top. top. That's a cool mask. I mean, there's two uh, people wearing masks on this show right now. <laughs> True. That's what kind of show this is. Got in the yeah, way. You're the yeah, second exactly. one. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I started it. Uh, I'm leaning towards Eric like being... the scary son from Super Mario. Ooh. I'm leaning towards Eric. Though. Don't chase me. Don't take my okay. key. Well, uh, Nick, what we're going to end up doing is going down the line one at a time and just getting from you if you think they're telling the truth or if they're lying, not necessarily whose story is whose. Audience, mm. we are now locking in your votes. You are locked in in game number two. Remember, two points up for grabs, so best of luck to you. Eric. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Nick, <clears throat> going I'm down Eric. the line. You're Eric. <laughs> Sorry, Come there's two masks mask. out there. The world <laughs> has become use. really muddled for me. Um, Nick, going down the line, uh, we just need telling the truth or telling a lie, starting with Michael, who was run over the day before his 21st birthday. Is Michael telling the truth or telling a lie? Uh, Watch he's out. telling a lie. You want to lock that in? We got to lock that in. All right, let's Whoa. lock in Michael as telling a lie. Wow. You're locked, All bud. Right. On to Jordan, who was involved uh, with a stabbing at a <laughs> mall. Is Jordan telling the truth or telling a lie? It was a long way to go for that story, but he's telling the truth. You want to lock that in? I'm gonna lock it in. I'm so locking screwed. Jordan as telling Don't the lock truth. <laughs> Got locked. He's locked in as a truth teller. And uh, Eric, Christ who man. used to RP in the Legend of Zelda chat rooms, AOL chat rooms, is Eric telling the truth or telling a lie? I think he's telling a lie. Lock that in. Oh. oh I think he nodded. I couldn't really <laughs> tell. It, the the monkey had deformed dude. a little bit. Um, all right, 
So uh, we have two lies and a truth locked in here. Um, before we reveal all of the answers, audience, let's see. Who did you think got run over the day before their 21st birthday? Did you believe Michael or did you think it was Jordan? Do you think it was Eric? 15%. 40 wow. for Jordan. Wow. Razor wow. thin. Recount. Split. Recount. I want to re. I could still recount. win this. Stop the count. Percent, but I can still win this. Stop the count. I can still that win is a this. Recount right there. Uh, I could have over 70%. Slim margin. The audience has gone for Jordan over Eric. Get that score out of here. We don't know anything yet. All right. <laughs> um, let us go down the line, starting with Michael. Um, you thought, Nick, that he was lying. And audience, you are hoping that he is lying because that's your only chance of getting points. Uh, I can reveal that Michael Jones was telling a lie. You were correct about yes. that, Nick. Very well done. Yeah. Well Woo. spotted. On to Jordan. Uh, involved I want Nick to win now. Involved in a stabbing Ooh. in a mall. Um, you thought that Jordan was telling the truth. I can reveal that Jordan was telling a lie you did not wow. get that one correct that is a miss he was also lying and then here's the big <laughs> question of the day um eric rping the legend of zelda you thought eric was telling a lie and i can reveal that eric was telling a lie yes you are wow. correct he was telling a lie <laughs> i was Thank really hoping God. eric was Damn. gonna get that one at the beginning Damn. of the show like a guy uh, who would do that <laughs> yeah um, it and for the audience, so we know either Eric or Jordan was the one that got run over by the car, and I can reveal that it was Eric. So you got that one in. It was me, Austin. It was me all along. One percent. Oh, you look wet. My one percent. Doesn't surprise me. Soaked. Oh, I'm Damn, dude. soaked. This episode of Chump is brought to you by Every Plate. Experience full plates and even fuller wallets with America's best value meal kit in every plate. Get meals you'll enjoy and your bank account will love delivered right to your door. Even at regular price, every plate is up to 58% cheaper than other major meal kits out there. Can you believe that? That's a lot off. That's more than half. Think of it this way. One meal is the same price as one cup of coffee. Recipes come together in about 30 minutes definitely faster than a trip to the grocery store and starting a meal from scratch. Every plate's easy to follow recipes and pre-portioned ingredients take the stress out of dinner time. That means there's less time deciding what to cook and more time spent enjoying good food with the family, which we all want to do that more often. We don't want to be spending all this time cooking and picking out what we're going to make and what ingredients we need. You don't need any of that. Every plate offers contactless delivery to your doorstep for easy home cooking on a budget and staying nice and safe with that contactless delivery. And I know uh, one of the meals they're offering this week are caramelized onion burgers, which who doesn't like that? Burgers are good with onions and they're even better when you roast those onions, get them nice and brown, get them nice and sweet. They taste amazing. Get three weeks of every plate meals for only $2.99 per meal by going to everyplate.com and entering code CHUMP3. That's three weeks of every plate for $2.99 per meal by going to everyplate.com and entering code CHUMP3. Make cooking easier and uh, spend more time with the family. Less time cooking, less time picking, more time celebrating life. Recount, I can still win this. That round. <laughs> All the points up for grabs. Nick got one. And Yay! that's it. No, nothing with the audience. Oh. Nothing Nick is. So the contestant gets one point. The deceivers have that's two. The audience stupid. has zero. Uh, as long as, as long as the audience loses, that's fine. I mean, I'm, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. And you know what? They just they already lost. Um, yes. They're watching this. I We're think gonna... they're losing just by watching this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but we will find out who the true loser is when we move on to our last game called High School Dilemma. Right after this quick commercial break. What? <laughs> hey, we're Welcome back. back. Oh. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you want to pick up that oh. toilet bowl cleaner. Um, <laughs> oh, Dude, so I in this up. game, uh, <sighs> we have one true fact about one of our deceivers in relation to high school. It could be a superlative, a story from their... Uh, high school times, anything like that. Nick will get to question each of them for 60 seconds about the story and try to determine who it is really about. Uh, now on Chump, it's not really about who wins. It's more that you don't want to be the loser. You don't want to have the least amount of points. So audience, 
You really need to get the point on this one. If you manage to tie Nick. Get it together. What's going on with Nick's might, ear? Has he got monkey gunk? I might throw you a bone. We'll see what happens here. But wow, regardless, monkey gunk. <laughs> he, he might get gunk. He might get gunk. Um, monkey gunk. Let us. <laughs> Yucky. Yucky. Uh -oh. Can you sniff it? Another monkey. Can you, get out, room can you, him? Guys, can you sniff please. it? Please. All right. <laughs> One of our three Jordan. receivers Jordan, in high school. No. No. Was <laughs> voted, had a superlative, was voted most likely to take over the world. One of our three deceivers was voted Whoa. most likely to take over the world. Audience, you're voting on who got the superlative. Was it Michael, Jordan, or Eric? Use the hashtags to Bungie. cast your vote. Um, Nick, you'll get to question for 60 seconds about why they earned such an award. Who do you want to start with? Let's start with Jordan this time. Ooh, I'm with Jordan this sure, time. All right. What the hell? 60 seconds <laughs> going on the it. clock. Ready, get set, go. It's weird. Jordan, is this something like in, in a yearbook? Like, how do you even get this? Yeah, it's for the yearbook. You know, like the superlatives that's like most likely to succeed. I got most likely to mm -hmm. take over the world. Okay, and why is that? What did you do in high school? So I had a reputation for being uh, like the the kind of random one, um, and this was a su superlative that was invented specifically for this year for me. So I really liked Invader Zim. Uh, I would quote it all the time. You know, like I was Big just Rooster like Teeth uh, fan. Random, random <laughs> Penguin of Doom XD kind of <laughs> kind of character, and I've, I've mellowed out since then. Red versus really. blue, but, loved it. That, Strangerhood, uh, yeah, loved that, it. Why so, you? friends that you would want to take over. One eight hundred magic. Don't forget about that one. <laughs> Not necessarily. I think it was it was mostly the Invader Zim stuff that I was always talking mm. about that people were like, oh, "This guy, this seems like it's up his alley." I see. I wasn't a fan of it. Oh Being shit! Loaded, I mean, there's a question. Like to, uh, that's your question to Jordan. Uh, Nick, would you like to move on to Michael or Eric next? Felt like longer than sixty to seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard a Michael in there. Uh, so I was waiting. Oh my you god! Did. Oh no! Yeah. All right. Uh, sixty <laughs> seconds to Michael going on the clock. Ready? Get set. Go. Michael, what were you in like any clubs or anything in high school that would make someone think this about you? No, it wasn't so much the clubs as the general mayhem and threatening of people. And it was it was less of a like, oh, you're going to take over the world and more of like, this guy's nuts. He's, he's <laughs> why is he hiding in backpack bins and jumping out and like, you know, maybe writing some messages on people's front lawn when they're sleeping. Uh, and setting things on fire kind of deal. Um, no clubs. Uh, and it was not an official okay. title. And uh, His mask is so not good. A, I was what, not what year did you my graduate? teacher's favorite. It, yeah. is, this, is this something that would be done by, so it said by your friends or by like people that you just randomly knew in high school? Well, acquaintances that had to uh, go to school with me. I wouldn't say, they wouldn't say friends. I thought we were friends and they would say, can you leave me alone, please? Uh, and, I, and, then, and then I go, boo, I'm in your house. Okay. Oh, God. Don't fall oh, asleep. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Hello there. Hello. Oh, nice it looks like, you. Oh, it looks like the masks are the majority now. Hello. <laughs> We're I'm coming. We're the popular vote. Soon you'll be turned. <laughs> Yeah, but Eric and I win the mask college. All right, uh, oh. that means <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Take that, little no mask was mask. idiot. All right, <laughs> yeah. uh, Nick, Not you got for me to be honest. You got one little boy left to question. You got you got Eric. Oh. Um, oh, oh no, and he's a little one. Uh -oh. <laughs> he's so uh -oh. small. Uh oh, oh don't God. ask me any questions. Ooh. I'm all the way down Handsome here. Boy. You better be careful. <laughs> don't get don't you. swish him. 60 mm, seconds on the clock. Smells like clean oh, laundry. Can't take over the world. Go. Oh. <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Mm. Uh, <sighs> Eric, were you popular in high school? Oh, you know. Uh, yeah. 
man. Lie. He's a liar. Lie. <laughs> you have a lot of friends? You have a lot of friends? Yeah. That's sad. yeah you, guy, you know me. You know, I was getting getting going, talking to people. Everyone's like, this guy, this guy. We love him. He's so great. We love Aaron. This guy. Oh, why did I get a guy. laugh? Whoa. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I was there. <laughs> what would make your friends like you were. be most likely to take over the world? What, you, well, it was a it was a yearbook thing, and it was created the year that uh, I was a uh, senior and for the yearbook. So uh, they said they said we got it. We have to vote someone who's got he's he's talking good. He's he's moving fast. He's got uh, the whole world ahead of him, and then eventually he'll get Are a job at Rooster Teeth, and food? he'll make some middling podcasts that people enjoy on a niche level. Yep. And they figured that that was the scope of the world at seventeen or eighteen. Uh, uh, did they have? You didn't, go to school. You didn't go to school, did you? Oh, Listen, no, look at me. I'm, I can't help you. Can't. Who can say what podcasts were invented in what year? The year that I was in high school, Joe Rogan might have still been on news radio. Who can talk about what is what? <laughs> Who can say? You were the most popular at the homeschool. <laughs> my, my mom voted That's the second is? coolest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have He's an only child. We at home. It's <laughs> like gonna take over the world. <laughs> All right. Um, anywho, <sighs> Nick. Uh, after all of your questioning, you now need to make the decision. Well, uh, before we get your final decision, audience, last chance to get your votes in. Is there anyone you're completely not believing? Anyone you're leaning toward? What are you thinking going into <sighs> voting here, Nick? This one, I actually think it could very well be Eric. I'm leaning towards Jordan not being this one. Oh, you're leaning toward not believing Jordan. I like that you do oh that. You God. pick one person in particular to just discount entirely. Yeah, someone who yeah, definitely like couldn't take over the you're world. Like in wrong. this case, it's Jordan. <laughs> There's no fucking way he could ever do that. Yeah. Like, I'm taking over the world. Fixed. No, you're not. Please. Yeah, come yeah, on. This no. fucking Vader Zim can keep saying that he's going to take over the world. I guess we'll just give it to him. A lot. Yeah, I remember that show. Uh, oh. audience, we're locking you in. You're yeah. now locked in for this episode. Uh, best of luck. Hopefully you don't lose another one. Um, okay. Jordan, it is time for you to pick who was voted most likely to take over the world. I'm picking. Yeah, Jordan, go <laughs> ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we haven't changed that up. You are still choosing. You choose. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Eric. Eric is the one who's most likely to change the world, even though I feel like it's not change. He's looking makes some bullshit. It was take over. Oh, you want to lock that in? Yeah, none of his answers made sense. Yeah. Well, <laughs> locking Eric, that in? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with yes. Yeah. Let's lock in Eric. Yeah, lock him in. Okay. Monkey nods. Monkey nods. You're. Eric, monkey you finally nod. got picked. It was a monkey nod. Yeah. It was a little, little wrong, monkey nod in there. Uh, audience, let's see who did you vote for? Who was voted most likely to take over the world while they were in high school? Whoa, no, was, Eric. Wow, wow, Eric. That Eric. Michael left in the dust. Damn. Damn. No one thought Michael was taking the over the world. Everyone thought Eric here. was. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, I can reveal that the person in high school voted most likely to take over the world was indeed Eric Fedor. You got that <gasps> correct. He was voted to yeah. yeah. How could he not? Yeah. How could he not? Can I just say, he some like, lucky say this guy, this guy. Can, can I just say they were wrong, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, I told yeah, you. I man, explained dude. exactly what they meant. Is anybody, are podcasts? any of those people watching and they're going, yeah, oh, no. fuck. No, yeah, fuck, you know what? We picked they him. Are. Hey. Hey, close up on me. Shouts oh. out to Jace. What's up, Jace? Shouts We've been out. to school since like fourth what? grade together. I know Just you're watching this. Shout. Shouts out. <laughs> Big ups. Booyah. Well, at the end of that round, uh, I can <laughs> I can reveal that both the contestant and the audience got a point, which means the contestant and the deceivers tie at two points. Oh. But the uh, audience is left behind at we win. one, which means yeah, just like wins. the entire Face Jam wins. The entire cast of Face Jam is safe and is the winner of today's episode. While the audience watching, of course, is going to be today's. There it is. Oh, <laughs> That's cool. I was it's backwards. To this it was side. unsure if that was going to happen. They don't normally do it in this layout, so I was like, <laughs> I don't know if they're ready for it or not. 
but uh, it seems like they were. Um, Thank you very much to Nick, Michael, Jordan, and Eric for coming by for this episode. We are going to have our post show, which is called Chump Change. And in that, we're going to be talking about the true stories that we didn't get to hear, uh, you know, during Pushing the Envelope, all the real things about who was in the chat rooms and stuff like that. And uh, thanks for being first members. Thanks for voting along in the chat. Thank you for donating to Extra Life, which is still going on if you're watching this live. So make sure to keep getting your donations in there. You are crushing it right now. And there's a lot of uh, awesome stuff coming up this weekend and over the next few days. So make sure to watch all of it. Thank you very much. Uh, I see the audience. Make sure you follow Face Jam Pod. Make sure you turn in for the Face Jam episodes every Tuesday. And guess what? There's more fan episodes every Tuesday on the week. So there should be off. Incredible. We win, you lose. We're winners, you're losers. Please tune in yep. to the next episode. Loser. See you next listen, week. <laughs> listen to Face Jam. You need us. Listen we don't need Jam. you. Yeah. We- oh, please listen. Bye, everyone. Please, please, please listen to Face Jam. Thank you for watching, everybody. Make sure to let us know in the comments below who managed to fool you. I know that was a pretty crazy episode. So, uh, you know, keep the comments nice and uh, tell us who managed to make you believe their lies. We'll see you next week. 5 p.m. Central Time. Be there and vote along yourselves.